Well, Oregon's primary election was a few weeks ago now, but one of the big congressional races wasn't decided until this week because of those ballot issues in Clackamas County. Jamie McLeod Skinner defeated Congressman Kurt Schrader in the Democratic primary for Oregon's 5th District with about 55% of the vote. Schrader's been in Congress since 2009, which means voters re-elected him five times. So what was different this time around? We asked our political analyst Len Bergstein. He says the main factor was redistricting. Oregon's 5th District looks a lot different than it did in the past 10 years. It used to include Salem and parts of the coast. Now it goes from the South Portland metro area all the way to Bend. Oh, I think it was the it was uh, uh, 80 to 90 percent of the of the uh, of the reason for his loss. I mean, clearly uh, he was not um, uh, well known in the part of the district that's around Deschutes County. Didn't draw a lot of votes out of that area. She came out of it with uh, 9,700 or 10,000 vote edge that he was never able to recover in the areas that he was most familiar with. So redistricting had the uh, had it at the consequence that it's had in a lot of places around the country and will have is we'll watch where uh, candidates who are familiar in part of the district but unknown in others uh, wound up being at a disadvantage. She, on the other hand, is from the area, ran a couple of times in that area. Well, Len says that's not the only reason Schrader lost, though. In the past few years, he's broken with his party and voted against stimulus checks, a pandemic relief bill, and a bill to lower prescription drug costs. Uh, he was such a high profile challenger to Nancy Pelosi. He was such a high challenge, uh, high visibility challenge to the president's agenda on some issues. And then there was a couple of issues that really caught people's attention, like pharmaceuticals. Jamie McLeod Skinner was able to really hook in with that. Once, once she was able to kind of connect with people's little bit of skepticism about uh, where Kurt was on the you know, spectrum of um, a democratic uh, support, then she was able to drive home a couple of issues that was, I think uh, led to her success. So now McLeod Skinner will face Republican Lori Chavez de Reamer in the general election. Len says he thinks it'll be a pretty contentious race. I think the Republicans are, will probably take another look at Oregon uh, at the national level. And there may be some money coming in from out of state that might not have come in uh, if Kurt Schrader was in the race. Uh, and, uh, and so uh, th there'll be a big challenge for Jamie to, uh, first of all, coalesce the support. She'll have to get the Democrats behind her, unified behind her, and then to make sure that she has got enough resources to be able to withstand what will be probably some outside of the state effort to elect a, a Republican to this seat. And yeah, that Republican Chavez de Reamer was the mayor of Happy Valley for eight years. She's also run for the Oregon State House a few times, but lost. Here's what Len says she has to do to try to win in a district that has more Democratic voters than Republicans. I think she's first of all going to have to develop a personality and a kind of a narrative. Uh, people probably don't know her. She's got a wider electorate to get to. She's probably got a more centrist uh, electorate that she had in a very contested Demo uh, Republican primary with lots of candidates. So she's going to have to broaden her message out and uh, and get better known. I okay. Time